Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have a layout using the June roundabout kit from Studio, Studio Calico. So here we go and I try it. I'm going to try something different this month. I took um, the video right before this one. I took all my papers and I cut them 6 by 12 and then I kept one part of it 6 by 12 and the other part I just cut into scraps and there was no rhyme or re reason. I just cut them in different shapes. And um, just to try, I've been working so hard at getting my scraps, you know, used up that when I start a new kit, it's like, well, I don't have any scraps. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> so this way I find, um, I just started on my kit. This is Sunday. I just started on my kit Saturday and I already have three pages done and I'm going to start my fourth one and maybe my fifth one today. So hopefully, you know, that means that I can get through this kit a whole lot faster. So basically right now I just went through my scraps, just found some, you know, papers that went with that one photo. And I know a lot of people um, don't like to get just one photo on a scrapbook page. But for me, I don't mind because scrapbooking yes I'm I'm doing you know memories for my family and all and all this but it's so much more than that for me scrapbooking is a stress reliever um, I just it's a creative outlet um, I have so much stuff here I could put what one picture on per layout you know every day for the next five years and not buy one thing and still be okay and for a while I was saying even you know maybe not adhesive but now I think even adhesive I'd be okay because I, I just have so much because um, I just keep stockpiling so for me one picture it's okay because you know there's something There's, I, I take a lot of pictures, but sometimes of one thing, I'll only take one picture, if that makes any sense. So like of them on that little boat, I only had the one picture. So I, I felt okay with, with just using that. So now I'm, I want to work on my title and I wanted to do it with all those basic gray letters that we got in this month's kit and I didn't have there wasn't enough of one color so I'm just going to do one word and I really wanted to just try and use just the stuff what I'm going to try and do to this month is especially at the beginning just use the products that came in the kit and then trying to exhaust that and then when I run out or I just don't have anything that goes with this page then I'm going to go to my digital print and and then I'll go to you know my stash so at this point there wasn't there wasn't a lot of letters in this month's kit so I mean we had pink ones but pink really didn't go with this layout so I went and got my sticky keys they're called they're called a peacock blue and the title is just going to be just do it just like the you know the commercials just do it and um, at the top I cut out a flag from the paper one of the papers and it said go and then from the chipboard it says adventure awaits and now I'm just looking you know if there's any washies that could go on this page but I don't want to put too much stuff on this page because it is about two you know two boys so I don't want to put too much you know decorations I guess embellishments so now I'm looking for my enamel dots and those buttons came in this month's kit and it is from the I believe it's cut and paste collection my mind's eye oh it's 
find your wings and fly and I just dropped a whole bunch of stuff on the floor I'll have to pick that up after and last or three pages ago I had taken out the six by six uh, papers from Amy Tangerine and Simple Stories and anyway I, cu I took about half an hour and I just mostly cut them all up and have them in a little baggie so now they're all cut up so I don't have to spend a lot of time while I'm doing a page you know to try to figure out what I'm going to do my camera must have moved because usually I have to have my um, my paper right to the top of my mat in order for you guys to see everything and this time around it's cut off so the next three layouts you might not see the top of the page because I haven't done a voiceover in three layouts because I did three layouts like boom 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 in a row so I'm sorry about that I'm gonna have to check out what happened there so now I'm gonna mat that photo on a red cardstock and again that's just a scrap that I keep my scraps my cardstock scraps since I started the studio calico kit I have them on with a binder clip because it sort of matches a lot of the papers so I just keep them together so now I'm happy with you know the amount of stuff I have and I'm going to start gluing everything down I'm going to use my quick dry adhesive and I'm just going to start gluing because I just didn't want to lift up the layers so I just kind of lifted it up and you know squirted some glue in the back now I'm going to add my photo and one of the um, pattern papers there was three pattern papers that I was able to uh, cut up and be able to use as embellishments so I cut them all up and they're ready and to use and it's all travel related which is good because I'm working on you know our a little mini vacation that we took this summer so it, it works out good so I should be able to use a lot of what came in this month's kit because that's you know the the pages that I'm working on so that's that's gonna work out good so now I'm gonna put some foam tape in behind that right here right now and that was I believe um, either a simple story or Amy Tangerine the six by six paper pad that I cut up and now I'm gonna put the title right there next to lately I've really liked putting uh, my title next to a cluster and I'm having trouble with my ATG and I think it's because I'm trying to put it on an acetate and when it finally works it's on the wrong side so I have to peel it off and it's a good thing ATG kind of comes off really well really easy and now I'm going to put the rest of the title so this is the first layout using the roundabout kit and if you want to see some still pictures you can join me on my Facebook group and I have the link in the description or you can go to two peas and studio calico and I upload my still pictures there I'm a little behind but I that's my goal today is to go and upload the rest of the the pages there I think I'm about three pages behind so I'm going to go and do that today so it should be all up to date after today so now I'm working at the top top left cluster and I just um, that little flag was from a branding strip from last month's kit and I just cut them all apart uh, whenever I, I don't feel like I hate saying don't feel like scrapbooking but what you know if I'm too tired or I'm just kind of winding down before bed or whatever the case may be I'll spend time cutting up stuff because then it's it's time saved when I'm scrapbooking so I don't mind doing that and now I'm gonna go through some of the enamel dots and I'm gonna put them all at the center of the buttons just to and I didn't feel like stitching so I figured if I put a button or enamel dot then I don't have to stitch 
This page was done really late at night. <laughs> I, um, because I've been doing a lot of night shifts, I'm having a really hard time getting my body going to sleep at night. So uh, I had put out that question on my Facebook group, you know, do you prefer scrapping in the morning or at night? I personally am an early bird. I love getting up early and getting things done. And ever since I start, you know, in August, I did a lot of overnight, like night shifts, and I just can't get up in the morning and I'm going to bed late. So it's kind of kind of reversed for me in the last month. So I just want to see where everyone was at. And most people like to scrap late at night. And at this point, I added some glimmer glaze. I added three colors. And now I'm going to show you some close ups and some still pictures. So that's it. The page is done. So I'm really excited to have started my June kit. And like I said, I've already have three pages done and I'm going to start on my fourth and hopefully my fifth one today. So thanks for watching. Bye.